is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends news and updates and today i am going to bring you the patch notes for 1.1.76 now in this patch the new hero hilda is going to be coming out the power of megalith of course we've already went over that she's going to be 499 diamonds she's going to be on sale 30 percent off She's going to cost 24,000 battle points. Uh, if you want to see the information on Hilda, you can go check out the other video. I'll leave the link in it in the description below. But we're going to uh, go ahead and get into this, the story background. If you would like to read that, you can pause the video right there and go ahead and read that. It's really lengthy and I don't want to waste a lot of time on it because there are a lot of things to cover in this patch. Uh, as far as the skills and all, like I said, that's in the video as well. So look in the description, you'll find that there. Now the new skins and stuff like that, those are normal for them to have different rotations. Those are the next two rotations there. Uh, if you want to stop and read those, you can as well. And uh, Ruby is going to be limited time on sale. New skins for Hilda and Moskov. And new functions and events. Newly added subscription function. You can subscribe to hosts which are already in your favorite live stream list, allowing you to receive push notifications from the live stream host. So you can now be notified when your favorite people are live streaming. I'm assuming that is through the in-game live streaming thing that they have set up. Uh, only loading screen before you enter the battle. Added a distinct loading frame to display teammates division. The higher the division reached in the rank matches, the more exquisite the loading frame for the user will be. Uh, rank match season four is in hot progress right now. So get your teammates together and get on that ladder. All right, and newly added self-defined quick response system. Uh, user is now free to set up your own preferred quick response messages in prep. Quick responses uh, messages are grouped into three categories, defense, attack, and communicate. Uh, that's really cool. The uh, quick communication responses are highly needed for a game like this, and I'm glad they did change that. Uh, after any brawl mode, a notice will remind users that you cannot buy items after leaving the base. I've seen a lot of people just run out and uh, you can't run back in and buy anything after, until you die again. And they also tune the recovery speed of jungle monsters. Now when jungle monsters return to their home spot, they will not fully recover immediately. Uh, that's a huge thing because sometimes these things path really weird and they leash and go back and you waste a lot of time killing something whereas it shouldn't have took that long. Uh, so it's nice to see them adjust that as well. Uh, the new hero balance adjustments. Johnson's rapid touchdown, they optimized the control experience for it. Uh, they said it used to be really hard to control, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for people to control now. Alice's special effects were optimized on the boundary link. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm assuming the boundary link they're talking about are ultimate. Gord, they fixed a problem with Mystic Gush, the actual radius being less than 0 0.8. Uh, and Saber. Saber called a nerf. All right, before everybody gets too sad, it, it doesn't seem too bad. It looks like it's about 20 damage maybe on each ability and some radius. Uh, but Saber did catch a nerf. His triple sweep basic damage was adjusted. They dropped it. The skill of area was adjusted as well from 6.5 to 6.2. Uh, and they optimized the camera effects for it as well. The flying sword, uh, which is the spinning things that come out, were really annoying. Uh, the base, basic damage for those was reduced, uh, damage decay was adjusted as well on that. So uh, yeah, you can expect that to change in the next coming update. Now the battleground and gear and battle spell adjustments. Uh, now when a team you healed gets a kill, you can also receive credit for an assist. It's really cool because with the new healer out, if you were just healing people and you weren't actually attacking, which uh, if you get in those clutch moments, you're not gonna have time to attack. You're just gonna have to heal. Uh, you will get assists for those now. They optimize the quick display name on, of allies and enemies. They tune the recovery speed of jungle monsters, like I said uh, previously. Uh, so when they go to the home spot, they won't recover immediately. In the hero selection screen for all modes, they added an extra 15 seconds of prep time. The default countdown timer was 30 seconds. Now it will be adjusted to 45 seconds. Uh, in the shop, which is accessed via battlefield, users can now change the recommended equipment set. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, you still you wouldn't able to change that. Now you can change it in game. It looks like they optimize the logic under AI auto fight. When offline users log in, AI will automatically be recalled to base. 
Now that can be good and bad if they're not near anybody and just recall the base, that's cool because they're not gonna die. But if they're out in mid lane and just um, automatically try to recall, hopefully they were smart enough to program it to where they would go back to safety before they did try to recall. Um, and they also show different effects for adding gold for users who use the last hit attack and for those who don't. Now battle spells, they did some more changes on battle spells which I'm glad to finally see. Weaken, the cooldown was adjusted from 90 seconds to 60 seconds. The slowdown effect was adjusted from 50% to 70%. Uh, generally, they tweak and adjust on these spells depending on how many people use them. And Weaken probably was one of the lesser used, so they adjusted the cooldown to make it faster and it is more effective as far as the slowdown effect. Uh, Purify, we've seen Purify in the patch notes before. They nerfed it just recently and now it looks like it's becoming unnerfed again and then it kind of re-nerfed, I don't know. Uh, they affected the adjustment to after skill is released, it will immediately remove all negative effects and grant immunity from disables for one second and increase hero's movement speed by 30%. The cooldown was adjusted from 120 seconds to 150 seconds. Now, they did pretty much add the what was in it originally, which was the movement speed. That was what they removed. And they lessened the uh, ability to where it used to be like two to three seconds. Now it's only one second. So to remove the effects and then it will grant immunity for those disables for one second. But you also have that movement speed back in it as well. Also, the cooldown did go up. It looks like 30 seconds, uh, but that's still not too terribly bad. And if you're looking to team fight more than every two and a half minutes or need to, uh, you're doing something wrong. So I'm glad to see that was changed. All right, guys, newly added basic gear. They added some more gear in the game. We have Bloodlust Axe. And what they said is we feel for the heroes who mainly rely on skills to deal physical attacks, the Tooth of Greed physical lifesteal is not the best choice for them. Bloodlust Axe will be more suitable as a high cooldown reduction and bloodthirsty effect. Now the price of this item is going to be 1970 gold. The attributes on it are 70 physical damage, 20% cooldown reduction, and the unique passive on it is, uh, restores 15% of damage dealt as HP for the hero when the hero's skills hit. Uh, now that's on the skills that's not basic attacks so heroes that are really highly skill based that you know you're using your skills a lot that's going to be really huge for these guys all right let's look at the next one they added uh disaster truchin before disaster truchin was available mage heroes who were facing a stronger mage opponent could only choose defense equipment to increase the magic resistance disaster truchin can improve both magic damage and magic resistance giving mages more options to build now this is really cool because we've seen a lack of mage gear definitely since the beginning uh, mages have had the least amount of choices for gear so it's really nice to see that they're adding gear in for the mage uh, price on this piece of gear is 2110 gold the attributes are 60 magic damage 50 magic resist unique attribute on it is a 10 percent cooldown reduction with a unique passive called the dead when dealing damage with this skill it will reduce the target's magic resistance by 25 points lasting five seconds now that is a huge huge uh piece right there to negate because most pieces that do give magic defense you know i think the highest piece is only in like 56 so that's taking half of their defense away if they are building into magic defense this could become a very useful item for mages now the third one that they added was thunder belt this item was well-rounded attributes is worth mentioning that it's unique uh, passive can provide a slowdown effect with certain radius which can be helpful to compensate for the lack of speed in pursuits for tanks uh, the price on this piece of gear is 2290 gold attribute 25 magic attack 800 hp 400 mana and 40 armor the unique passive on this is thunderbolts after releasing skill the next basic attack will carry extra 60 percent of physical attack as true damage and will slow down target and its surrounding enemy units lasting one and a half seconds this effect can only be used once every three seconds now that right there is going to be an amazing new item 
like they said for tanks it's going to help with chasing people down you get that hit in that's an extra one and a half seconds to possibly get that kill before they get away from you uh really cool item and i really look forward to testing some of these new things with builds because we've had a lack of variety over the past several months with these uh, with the lack of items now four they added three new types of potion equipment uh, and what they said is we hope the users can still find room to upgrade their heroes even when they've reached their equipment purchase limit uh, what that means is basically if you hit that mark to where you're full build you're just collecting gold then it it kind of takes away the reason to farm anymore you know all you got to do then is just push for towers and take out the base and you win now there is that incentive to continue getting that gold and controlling areas on the map and these objectives to be able to buy these potions now the prices on these potions look like they're going to be 1500 gold and they added three of them the three they added was one the energy potion uh, unique passive increases power automatically used after purchase giving 30 points of physical damage five percent physical life still and it lasts for 120 seconds only one potion effect can be used at one time so that is a pretty huge uh, advantage uh, these are going to be really cool to see because not only can they be used in the effect of you know you're ahead you've got extra gold you can buy these items if you're behind at max level and sieging you could use these items to help you get out of your own base and push and kill these guys uh, the second one is the magic potion unique passive automatically used after purchase gives 30 points of magic damage 5% of cooldown reduction in the last 120 seconds only one potion effect can be used at one time now also remember guys five percent of cooldown reduction you are only allowed a max of 40 percent uh so try not to go over that because it's not going to do you anything after that so keep that in mind if you're going to be looking into using the magic potions and the third potion is the rock potion automatically used after purchase giving 500 points of hp 15 percent resilience and lasts 120 seconds only one potion can be used at one time like we said before uh resilience um uh, to me what resilience is going to mean is basically damage that someone is able to do to you as far as pvp uh when i'm saying that i'm not meaning minions hitting you or anything like that another player it's going to reduce uh the damage you do by 15 percent i'm assuming that's what resilience would mean but 500 points of hp that's pretty nice uh considering you know hp you, you rarely see people get you know tanks max over 10,000, and most of the time adc has anywhere from you know four to six thousand depending on how they build uh so those right there those are some game changers definitely a lot of new things coming for the game uh some system adjustments they did do as well they adjusted the camera angles of live streaming for an optimized experience during live broadcast users who planes yachts or race cars as virtual gifts will get a cool fan avatar frame as a reward for the first time users who watch battles using live stream function the related operations instructions and notices will be shown ios users can use built-in replay kit support function to carry out live stream this function is only supported on ios versions 10 and above uh, replay kit is very nice i've seen that used quite a bit uh, so if you're on ios and want to stream that is a really nice feature to be able to have uh, the self-defined graphic mode the judges spectating a battle can use the newly added pause battle function uh, so that's really interesting and manage squad page team members can check each other's play or per players personal info by holding down the team members avatar uh that's really nice really quick way to check out some info on people uh when team members stay in the squad page they will also see the squad's related info optimize the process of checking rankings uh they also adjusted the top squad's text display optimize he hero headshots on hero selection page heroes from the same team will face the same direction uh that's pretty nice the added order of purchase time to hero selection list the most recent purchase heroes will appear first while making it more convenient for users to choose now this is really awesome because people that have been buying heroes that they're wanting to test out they're having to scroll and find them so this will allow you to immediately be able to hopefully pick the character that you just bought or you use the most uh, as it's going to be in the most recent that's pretty nice they also added some bug fixes 
they also added some bug fixes in with this update uh, they fixed the display error for mystery skins and the levels in the shop fixed bugs in chat we're clicking user avatars who sent small horns and large horns does not show the related info they fixed the bug not being able to save correctly uh, the chat messages they fixed the viewing rankings for bugs in top squad page fixed viewer rankings for bugs showing errors fixed squad list viewing bugs uh, fixed bugs relating to showing team members and leaders names and they fixed the bugs related to when lord became an enemy unit the minimap indicators above exposes the location all right well that was a mouthful guys wow that is a lot of stuff coming in the next patch um this is definitely a huge game changer as far as you know they did add more items in so we have three new items which are actual pieces that are new to the game you can build into you can experiment with they added one it looks like for each type of class kind of for so basically some lifestyle for a fighter or adc they got the magic the damage and stuff in there for the uh, mages and they also got a tank type item added as well so those are the three new items the the potions that's going to be a big game changer and just overall the whole patch you know this is finally looking like they're they might be taking the steps in the right direction to make the gameplay better as long as they control the lag as long as they're still doing these updates and making everything manageable um hey i'm all for it i'm all i'm all for seeing progress that's what i want to see and yeah uh, let me know what your opinion is about these patch notes. Uh, what do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? You, do you think they could have done something different? Or just, you know, leave your opinion, your feedback. Uh, I would really like to know what you think about this. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.